When you buy nut milk, like almond milk, cashew milk, coconut milk, macadamia milk at the store, you're kind of at the mercy of what other people are putting in the drink, right? So you've got fillers, you've got gums, you've got binders, all kinds of things, preservatives. So recently I've become more of a fan of making my own nut milks because it allows me to have the versatility and the creativity that I want. See, I don't want to just have macadamia nut milk. I like having other fats coming into the mix. So here I have what I consider the perfect nut milk, the perfect ratio of fats, the perfect ratio of different kinds of fibers and different kinds of things that are gonna make it taste amazing and be highly effective. So I've got my favorite components here, okay? And I'm gonna list them out as we go. I'm gonna show you how to make it, okay? Now, there are a lot of different ways that you can make nut milk. I'm gonna use what's called an almond cow because it makes it super easy and convenient, but you can make it how you want. You can make it the old fashioned way. You can sprout them, you can drain them, all that stuff, totally up to you. It just makes it a little bit easier for the video and to be able to showcase, all right? So the first thing that I have is macadamia nuts. I want 50% of the nuts in my nut milk to be coming from macadamia nuts, okay? And the reason behind that is twofold, or actually threefold. For one, macadamia nuts do not have any phytic acid, okay? Phytic acid is something that chelates nutrients, chelates minerals. Basically, it opposes the charge of electrons of food that we consume. What that means is we don't get to absorb the nutrients when there's a lot of phytic acid. So if you're consuming a ton of almond milk, okay, a little bit's fine, but if you're constantly consuming almonds, you will find that there's a phytic acid response that can actually chelate, make so you're not getting as much in the way of minerals, especially on keto. Okay, additionally, there is practically no omega-6s in macadamia nuts. I want to keep the fatty acid profile as clean as I can, and that means higher ratio of omega-3, lower ratio of omega-6. There aren't many omega-3s in macadamia nuts, but there are very low omega-6s. And then it has palmitoleic acid in it, which is also called omega-7, which helps enhance the bioavailability of omega-3s. I'll explain more in a minute. So 50% of the nuts here, so I'm using, but, uh, it's about, well, I'm gonna keep it a little bit less in this one. So this is about eh, half a cup or so of macadamia nuts. Okay, and then the next set of nuts that I wanna use is going to be uh, pecans. Okay, now here's the thing with pecans. Yes, they have a good amount of omega-6s in them, but they also have a higher amount of omega-3s. But I really like them because they're gonna bring an extra taste to this that I really want. Powerful taste, easy to digest for the most part, and a relatively low phytic acid content, which is my bigger concern. Okay, so in this case, I'm adding again, probably about a quarter cup of pecans. Don't need as many there. Again, I'm keeping that ratio good, right? Then I have coconut. I can add straight up shredded coconut, okay? So shredded coconut is going to allow me to get a little bit of the fiber, of course the flavor, but most importantly, I'm extracting some of the lauric acid, I'm extracting some of the MCTs out of it, and I'm getting the benefit there, okay? So huge benefit to adding coconut in, and I'm adding a quarter cup there. So I'm adding this in, this is called the filter basket. So with almond cow, it's really easy. I just put it into the filter basket, but there's one more thing I need to add to this filter basket, and that's what makes it fun, chocolate. Okay, I'm adding a half an ounce of completely unsweetened, okay, unsweetened baking chocolate. Why am I adding this outside of just taste? If I could make the perfect nut milk, well, I would add chocolate to it because the antioxidants in chocolate will actually protect the fats from breaking down and denaturing. So it actually kind of puts a built-in antioxidant that keeps the fats from oxidizing. So chocolate has a dual benefit there, okay? It's really cool. So in this case, I don't need to put all that in there. I'm gonna put about a half an ounce in. And this is super easy. Now let me explain. Okay, so with almond cow, it's really easy. So I take off the top, okay? And then I've got the base here. I already have some water filled up in the base. So I just add water into the base. And then this is the filter basket here. Okay, screw that on like so. And then what I use is I use the collector cup that's down here because it can actually double as something to help you screw it on better. There we go. So I screw that on nice and tight, and let me show you how easy this is, but there's one more thing I wanna add. It wouldn't be a good keto nut milk if I didn't add a little bit of MCT. I've never in the grocery store seen a nut milk that has MCT in it too, but I want those fats. First of all, it's gonna give me more flavor and more kind of just volume, right? But I also wanna make it super keto and actually help it. So I'm gonna put about two tablespoons in here. Eh, maybe a little bit more, okay? and it's a super convenient, okay? So I pop the top on the base here, okay? Press the cow start button, which is really easy. Get a close up here. And it works its magic. 
It's gonna go through about three cycles that it does. It takes a little over a minute. So super, super cool. Okay, and the little green light is solid. That means it's done. By the way, uh, I was able to achieve a discount for anyone that's watching this video. So there's a link down below if you wanna check it out. Use the code THOMAS15 and you can save 15% off your very own almond cow, which I will tell you the honest, total truth. This has been a game changer for me, but mainly it's just made it fun. It's made it a lot more budget friendly because now I can make like a really good, nice diverse nut milk for like 80 cents a serving versus, or for like 80 cents for like a whole, you know, serving and a making of this, a whole like carton. Whereas normally I'd pay like four or five bucks for like macadamia nut milk. So very budget friendly, super convenient, super simple, but the best part is it allows you to get creative. So let's go check out how this came out. And remember, so like I said, you use the link down below, you can check this out, but you can also make it by hand if you want to. I did that for years. I will just say this definitely makes it a lot easier. Let me take this off actually. And then when you're all done, let me show you something that's kind of cool here. Okay, you just put it in the collector cup here. But I want to show you something. This is going to continue to drain. But before I pour the milk, so see that there? As that drains, I can make oatmeal out of that. Okay, so I have basically ground macadamia, ground pecan, coconut, and chocolate, and a little bit of MCT remnants in there. As that drains and strains, that would be something that I can absolutely make a delicious like keto oatmeal out of. I can make all kinds of crusts out of it. So you get this extra benefit when you use this because you're not just having the nut milk. Okay, now the fun part. Check this out. Look at that. Yeah, it looks like a milkshake. Okay, now you could add a little bit of salt to it, but the thing is, is I used roasted salted macadamia nuts that already had Himalayan salt on them. So I don't need to add salt, but usually you wanna add a little bit of salt. You could add a little bit of stevia, a little bit of vanilla to give it a different flavor. You could also add coconut cream, like from the can, to give it a little bit more of a fatty acid profile. But generally speaking, it comes out really darn good. So there you have it, 50% macadamia nuts, another 25% or so pecans, 25% coming from coconut, and then chocolate if you wanna add a little bit of a bonus, okay? Let's check it out. Oh, that is good. That is so smooth. Anyhow, as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. Don't forget to check out Almond Cow down below and use that link and use that code, and I will see you tomorrow.